Hey everyone, it's Alyssa here. Um, I have a couple tips for you on how to move through analysis paralysis. So as creatives, we all can get into this really sticky, yucky, sort of anxiety um, producing, self blaming, restlessness, guilty sort of energy of like being stuck because we're overthinking, right? And that can show up like just distracting ourselves on social media or running to the refrigerator again or, you know, whatever you do to avoid and numb and, and distract our, yourself, right? So um, I'd just like to share with you a couple ways that I find that are really effective in moving through analysis paralysis. Number one is getting into your body. So when we're in that over analytical mind, we are not fully in our bodies. So one of the best ways to do that is just go for a walk, um, dance to a song, dance your ass off to a song or more than one song, you know, start with one. Um, getting into the body, moving some of that energy will really shift your state. And these things may seem so obvious, right? And I'm sure that you've thought of these and you've probably done them for yourself as well. But I'm here to remind you about them today because they're so important and I want you to bring your work into the world I want you to take that next step. I want you to stop overthinking things and do the damn things. So I'm here to remind you about those, okay? Another way to move through analysis paralysis is to reach out and have an accountability buddy. So that can look like a friend. It can look like another um, entrepreneur or creative that you know of. It can look like hiring a coach like me um, or joining a, a group of account a accountability sort of um, theme group. And I find that to be really helpful in moving through analysis process because when you have that accountability outside of yourself, it supports you into sharing about what you're doing. And that allows other people to um, also support you in what you're doing, right? So it sort of moves you out of your mind and being stuck up here so much and feeling like maybe you're alone and, you know, um, accountability can be super powerful. And finally, the last, uh, solution that I have for you is to just take a step, like just any action. Okay. So sometimes we, when we get into analysis paralysis, we feel like we can't do anything. Right. But if you take one small step, lower your standards. Okay. And you don't have to make it mean anything. That's often where we get stuck to is like, you can choose to just take a small step, not make it mean anything about you. And then that action, if you continue to do that, it builds confidence and builds momentum. So I encourage you to take um, one of these solutions and run with it today, whether it's the movement or taking one small action or the accountability. And if you do make a post on social media and um, take a small action step, sharing your work or sharing something that you've sort of been in analysis paralysis about, please tag me so I can celebrate you. Okay. Thank you for watching. Bye.